what is bitter at first is sweet in the end what is sweet at first is poison in the end to everyone is given the choice it all depends on the effort put in and the unflogging determined will for whoever strives must soon arrive at the city of his choice please give us clarity on the words effort determined will striving and choice what is bitter at first is sweet in the end what is sweet at first is poison in the end to everyone is given the choice it all depends on the effort put in and the unflogging determined will for whoever strives must soon arrive at the city of his choice the unflagging determined will choice existence is freedom because there is nothing except it it is unqualified unconditional freedom it is free even in its pretends that it is not free it is free to act free and it is free to act unfree even in the worst of situations even in the deepest of slaveries even in the most unconscious sleep there still is the power of choice available if there is one thing that one never loses it is his ability the freedom the power to choose the power to choose is just an expression of your inherent freedom the other day we said that it is never too late to take a u turn and somebody made a poster on it do you see what it means that you may have driven thousands of miles down the wrong road yet the choice to continue going down the same road or to take a u turn is still available it's not as if the choice is depleted or forsaken or withdrawn nobody can confiscate this choice 
this choice has not been given to you by anybody it is a part of your being you may lose anything and everything but you can never lose the ability to decide to wake up never and that is why i speak to you that is why anyone who has ever spoken has spoken to you because that possibility of waking up is always there it cannot be taken away it is your essential nature freedom i am free to take a u turn at any point in time anywhere i am whatever be the configuration and conditioning of my mind i still retain the ability to get rid of it what that essentially means is that no conditioning is bigger than freedom that no conditioning has more power than intelligence that no cloud is more vast than the sky so the ability to get rid of all the darkness and all the cobwebs that are surrounding the mind that are obfuscating the sun that you always retain nobody can take it away to everyone is given the choice lalla says to everyone is given the choice to be someone is bondage to have the choice is freedom to everyone is given the choice is the name of sansar the world what do you have in the world you have in the world ones and ones and ones and ones multiplicities diversities people persons divisions fragments so everyone to everyone is given the choice and you also have in the world the great redeeming blessing of freedom i might be born a slave yet freedom calls from within and i can respond any day i can answer the call any day since like lalla all that they do is they nudge you a little they prompt you a little they say you see ultimately you have to answer the call because answering the call of freedom is your nature why don't you do it a little early why don't you do it right now it all depends on the effort put in and determined will for whoever strives must soon arrive at the city of his choice it is your choice to remain in bondage and it will be out of your choice that you will give up bondage so essentially it means you are never in bondage you see if it is always within the powers of a slave to become free is he ever a slave he is just role playing like a slave if it is in your powers to break out of the jail whenever you wish are you ever in jail no you have just gone there like a tourist it's your choice you chose 
to became confined small captured you are the one who chose captivity you are also the one who can choose freedom go ahead choose choose now you are asking what is then meant by effort and determined will not much once the mind has decided to answer the call your entire organism dances to the tune of freedom that is called effort once you have made the choice events just happen on their own that is called effort so it's not even your effort events happen on their own hmm all those efforts are actually choiceless you don't have any choice in making those efforts once you have made the grand choice of answering the call now that i have chosen to fight the battle do i have a choice in firing the shots yes so effort is choiceless it happens just happens it is an effortless effort hmm and determined will determined will arises from seeing the repercussions of the choice i made a choice that i will remain in bondage and i see what that choice has brought upon me just as freedom is my nature truth realization sensitivity is also my nature i see what has happened to me and when i see what has happened to me i want to get rid of it that is what leads to the reversal of the choice kindly remember there is no fatalism here you are in control all the time let nobody come and say that now i am at such and such point in life what can i do you are at no point in life situations are not dictating your location whatever is happening is happening out of your own will and if your will can bring you here your will can also take you back your legs brought you away from your home it will be these same very legs that will carry you back to your home so blame not destiny 
and do not shift the responsibility you are the only one who else is there to blame whom would you blame that is one of the irritating things about aloneness you cannot blame somebody else i alone am whom to blame now you can't complain hame bhi kevalam so whom to complain and what to complain who did it i did it there is nobody else to do anything now you did it and there is karm phal and you see what is happening out of your doing and if you have sensitivity and if you decide that the time has come then things happen on their own hmm but remember no will will arise and no effort will take place if the mind is shrouded in the notion that i did not do it or i cannot do it there has to be an honest acceptance being what i was this was inevitable it is not accidental your life situation is not random it has not been randomly thrown upon you being what you are this had to happen it is a result of your own mind but nothing is lost it's never too late a u turn is always possible if you realize that the time has come go ahead make the choice it will appear difficult but make it and you do not know what reserves of energy you have within you you will be surprised by the quantum of effort that you can make people talk of will power you will see that will power is a nonsensical thing you do not require will power out of realization will arises on its own but you have to realize hmm you have to realize let these immortal words of lalla always remain with you to everyone is given the choice never forget that it is always within your capacity that it is never too late that it is never beyond you never
for whoever strives must soon arrive at the city of his choice so there are obviously two cities that she is referring to which city do you live in hmm the city of death or the city of joy no i am not referring to calcutta i am not referring to delhi either <laughs> which city do you live in the city of death or the city of joy we live in the city of death mrityu lok you came here out of your choice your birth was not accidental as a metaphor we say that latent desires take birth your birth was not accidental you wanted to be born that is why you are here you wanted to be there in the city of death that is why you were born you had something to achieve the man who has collected millions wanted to accumulate money that is why he was born he was born hardwired to accumulate that is what we call as physical conditioning hard wiring so your birth itself is a choice poor parents don't have much to do with it actually they were just agents you made them come together so that you can arrive so you chose to come here now you can also choose to go to the other city choose it's within your powers choose and do not forget once you have chosen then you are choiceless and do not forget that the choice is available at all moments <laughs> <laughs> what to do when one tries to capture the truth in silly words this is what one comes to so on one hand you have to see that there is utter choicelessness on the other hand you also see that a choice can be made any moment what to do truth is too vast and too paradoxical to be thus captured 